with an exact game plan. He was hungry for this rematch because he wants to, he's gone on the lab, he's done the theory craft day, and now he wants to see if it actually pays off. Uh, I can go into a little bit of those, that insight that he gave to second Oh my god, no. Oh. Anyway, let's get into game one right now. Ooh, Ling Ling being pretty patient. One thing that, uh, that Sinji said is he wants to stay grounded. Um, stay grounded, then also use uh, the grab more, especially pivot grab to catch his landings. He had been looking at uh, old M2K versus Armada, which is, of course, it's a different game. But apparently, he was saying he gained some inspiration of how to deal with Peach and her landing aerials after watching that. So we might even see some melee-esque ways of... Uh, outspacing the opponent here. That being said, last time around, oh, Ling Ling really actually had the answers. Uh, ooh, one thing is that Sinji now, I think they played like, I don't even know, 10 games on Town and City, for which Sinji said, this is not the stage for me. This is not a stage that's going to work out in this matchup. Uh, ooh, okay. And Ling Ling, though, starting off really strong. They're kind of going for a war of attrition battle here, and I don't see that Ling Ling's just working out. That is the Ling Sinji way, is the war of attrition. These, these two play a lot, and it is a very, very timeout heavy set. It is. So they play a lot. However, they it, there is like an adaptation lab level arms race going on between them. Yeah, it's, it's it's not like they now know their game plan against one another because they play a lot. They just keep adapting over their play styles over and over again. But also it's like adaptation that really takes thought oh, and yeah. care and preparation before even going into it. Sinji That's has true. a game plan and we're going to see how well his game plan will work out for him. I think that a lot of the, at least I know last week, the longer that their set ended up going for, the more it benefited, oh, the more it benefited Ling Ling. Yeah. I think that's the same this time like, around. Like, you wouldn't expect, right? Because Pac-Man's the campier character. Key? Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised. That was a nice bait on the key. Oh, it's stage, stage, stage. stage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was so cool, actually. I, I do like that idea that he just okay. went for, where, like, he, he, he knew that he had the key, and obviously Pac-Man wants key to Hydrant. Like, if a person goes up to hit the Hydrant. So he, we hit Nair the Hydrant to, like, bait him to throw the key and then went over it and punished him. That's really good stuff. Ooh, nice there. Okay. Full stock up. You can no longer afford to play a slow game. Ling knows that. He will definitely camp it out. Honestly, camping it out with Sinji... It's weird because <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought he got the the hydro damage. Now, I uh, he took forty. In the blink of an eye, he took forty right there, and now this is extending Peach even man. more so. Good character, five percent. Wow. Okay. That was some sus di. Definitely some bad di. Right. So it's kind of risky for him to go for that hit though. Because after Pac-Man eats the big pellet, he has super armor for a little while. But he just like waited until the armor was about to be over, and then he went for the hit. Yeah. He got the timing perfectly. All right, now we're going to be seeing counterpick. I think uh, Yoshi's story might be the stage if it isn't banned. You know what you're saying? Okay, Battlefield. Battlefield. The triplats in general. Yeah, true. Uh, Shinji used to avoid them, but since then, he's thought about it more, and he has a much better... Uh, grasp what to do in the matchup when you have all these platforms available yeah, to you. I mean, I was going to say that Pac-Man or uh, Wing likes to go tripods a lot because it helps his float movement. So, like, it, I guess even though this is his counter pick, he's okay with going here. That's why he didn't ban it. I, you know, I think that part of it is actually this is like theory crafting where he's thought about why, you know, Battlefield would be a better stage. Uh, and I think that when they have played on Battlefield, it's gone pretty well for Sinji. But we'll see that, I think this is the first time he's counterpicking himself here. Right. So we'll see if it actually works out for him. As it stands, 66%. This is looking pretty grim yeah. for Sinji once the, again. The game started with him trying to look like he was going to platform camp, like he was going to charge back dials and throw hydrogen down a platform camp. But Wing is okay with that patience. Like, he's just not going to deal with it. He's not going to try to hit you for it, so he's not going to get hit by any of your mix-ups there. So, like, he let you charge the fruit, sure, but then you have to interact. 
Okay. That was yeah. just a good spacing around the grab. Ooh. Okay. And it's also, I know that grab is one of those things that Shinji said he wanted to try and utilize more in the matchup. Yeah. So the fact that he's going for it and that if Ling Ling is already avoiding it, speaks volumes. It does. Now, you see him have a big lead. The patience with the shield there. Yeah. Well, Peach's shield pressure is so good because of float that, like, she doesn't even need to grab you. She can just aerial your shield a lot and, like, mix up the timings and pressure and just do a ton of damage the whole time. It's just hard. Oh, Ooh. nice catch. He fell out of that dash attack, yeah. though. That's really I think it, it probably would have killed. Yeah, I think it's just percent of probably oh. <laughs> oh, and he gets the first stock oh my instead. God. He oh. side bees and the water pushes him up right above the hydrant where... Sinji's I've actually never seen that happen. That was really, really strange. Okay. But super good for Sinji because that was looking like a like a hard lead. What is <gasps> that? That was definitely a misinput. Yeah. Like both these characters can like they can either struggle to kill one another, or they can get Bell off smash at eighty, or Peach can just get like a you know. I'll smash yeah. Rita 80. Like, they well, have options to kill each other very early. They do have options to kill, but the big thing about it is that it's really hard to connect a kill from neutral. Yeah, that if the opponent true. messes up just a tiny little bit, it's hard to convert that into an actual stop. Right. Like, you know? they, they have a really hard time killing one another. That's why it's so important. Like, even though Wing tied it up, or now he's in the lead a little bit, even though he tied it up past the, uh, the side B water bell up smash, um, it's still important that he got that hit because he was about to be trailing by a lot. Pac-Man doesn't die ever. Bad boy, great recovery and just hard to hit, but he also doesn't kill that early. So you're in for the long haul. I'm surprised that when Sinji is like opting to shield above the hydrant, like on top of the hydrant, that Link just doesn't just wail on the hydrant because that makes him... He forces him out of shield, and then the, uh, the Hydra becomes a hitbox. Oh! A good, good grab attempt, but... Oh, he's a little bit late on it. Quick yeah. with the roll. Nair? Oh, wow. That, the instant side... The, the oh, wow. This will be rather, but... Ling Ling actually mentioned to take that stock, and Nair now... 120. And he's got a dot eyes that's potentially a huge amount of damage if he gets a hit. Not only that, but as we've seen, a single dot eyes will break the yep. hydrant. Huge. The dot eyes was like 19 damage. Really strong. I love that Tomahawk just going up to the platform and not Ooh, carrying at catch. all. The hitbox was definitely still active, so good job. <gasps> oh, conversion! What do you got? What do you got? Oh, that's it. Okay. 40 damage, still a lot. 57 at the end of it. For a lot of players, I feel like when they have to throw one of Pac-Man's fruit, when they grab it by accident during a combo, they drop their combo because they throw the fruit as opposed to getting an aerial, and that's it. Ling is a whole different beast. Well, keep in mind, he holds protection yeah. tiles all the time. His item he play game is so good. Right, so what kind of fruit natural. is he looking for? I think he's maybe he actually is. going Does he have for key right now. No. I think, I think it's he has like Okay, yeah, oh, he's Oh, he did that bell. There. Oh, isn't enough. He needs a back aerial. It's tricky because, like, you want to. Oh, what? He could have just bell forward smash. Yeah. Right? What is going on? He's being <laughs> very hesitant. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I was, I, I was going to say, when you're throwing a bell at kill percent, it's tricky because it's supposed to be a safe kill option. And then you can throw it. Oh, my God. Oh. He has no jump. He has no jump. Oh, he has no funny thing. Um, yeah, like, you want it to be a safe kill option that you can just throw, and if it whips, that's okay. But if you're not preparing for it to hit, you might miss the conversion. Nice back air. Oh my god, he almost died. <gasps> Very bad DI. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Yeah. You have to go that from that far off. Like there are angles where that's super duper hard. Like if you go right below the ledge. But when you're that far out, you have to go at an angle that it's just not that hard for him to just go down there. Uh, I feel like you could take like a wide angle. Well, you mean like up? you still have up. Oh, true. I mean, you do have more control. But he was so far out. And if he has to up, I feel like Wings is going to hit I feel like, honestly, he could have even, like, done the turnaround thing. Done it back. But he was so far away. What? He was so far away. Never mind how far Pac-Man up he goes. Maybe. But you, you never want to be able to... 
Like, if you Pac-Man up B, you, you can't rely on the last trampoline. Because well, if they're saying, good... Even with two, he goes really high. Really? Yeah. Because cool. if you ever go for two, the opponent sh should just air dodge past you and get trampoline so you... Now here's All a question for you. Do you think that the battlefield pick helped out Layling in that last game? Like, because we see that since he goes right back, yeah. there, very little hesitation. I mean, he got kills. That's a big deal in the last game. Is that like Wing was able to kill him sub 130 every single time. So I don't think. I think. Sinji's plan for battlefield didn't get to happen that last game. So I get why he would run it back. But the, the platform camping game, pretty immediately, was kind of... Uh, Ooh, wow, I should have grabbed was, was He uh, knew it was going to run out. That's actually why he yeah, went for it. Yeah. Oh my god. What's the way it the, the platform camping game is just not going to work, and it was very apparent immediately. Wow, okay. Oh, Doing a nice job. The stone keys being saved behind the hydra right now. I wonder if a winky face breaks... Hydrant in one hit. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, I believe Hydrant has stitch. That's a stitch. Oh, That's stitch. a stitch. <gasps> Throws it down. That, was that up angled F tilt. He <laughs> was just frames away from getting forward air. Since he's so. That's really good. When he gets hit by Bell at the ledge, he's always uh, picking it up. Not only does that give Sinji less pressure and that he has no more fruit, but he also what? like gets a kill off him. No punish. Okay. Neutral air from Pac-Man is harder to punish than you expect. He has one of the three best snares in the game. Frame three, super big, last <laughs> forever. What was that grab? That grab is so long. Not like distance-wise, just how long it lasts. It lasts, yeah. It seems that, oh, all right, now we're oh starting to see. Oh my goodness. Oh, he missed it a little bit. I <laughs> think it was nice. nice reversal, though. That was yeah. really good. Uh, do you think that would have killed if it hit? I think it would have, yeah. Yeah? But uh, it, I think that does requiring reading the opponent's DI, right? Because they should have enough I don't control know. over where they're sent that... Uh, you can probably react. <gasps> the foot stood up! Because you don't have to change the last direction until, like, the very end. Nice hold. Like, these little chips... Oh, wait, he's down his dog. I thought Wing was at three times. Whoops. Although... I will say, Sinji in this game is looking much better. It feels like the game plan that he has been, like, crafting before the match finally working out for him now. There but isn't even still, he's at 122% and he's not able to take out Ling Ling's stock yet. Yeah, he's been getting hit by, like, most of this damage is turn up ch chip damage. His turn up seems to do, like, 13. So he's just been, he gotten hit by like five of those, and that's honestly been the majority of the damage so far. He is just he has no invincibility. Wow. He has no legend. He has no invincibility. Oh, that's why he jumps on. What's a really good jump on? Oh my goodness! Just throw it. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh! Yep, 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 yep. What a great like. That's such a good. The patience. Yeah, great patience. In that. And also the recognition because he only went for that bell then because he had just gone off stage, yeah. went back on, then went back off stage. At higher percents, the way that the formula for how much legend invincibility is based on your percents. The higher percent you have, the less invincibility you have, and the length of time off stage inversely. So if you've only been off stage for yeah. a split second right. and you're at 122, your invincibility is only going to last, like, right. honestly, a few frames. That's true. That's a good point. But he's just so scared of bell. Like, you can't be scared of bell. You have to respect it, but you can't be that afraid while you're trying to run away the whole time. Dash will take it here. Nice forward match. All right, and this is the sort of thing where now Sinji very comfortable I think in he has position. Bell. 167 on yeah. percent, but... Wow, oh, it stalls because of the, the bell. Wiki face does break it in one shot. There we go. Catch it. Oh, he got it. Wing wanted that. He oh. won it again. He's so sneaky with these pickups. Man, the the the, the control over oh where the hydrant goes just. The shield is gone. What? It's so weird. Like the water is messing up bullet movement so much right now. 
He's dead. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Game three going to Sinji. He, Let's he see if we can get this reverse 3 0 going. He predicted Sinji to run up and get ready for the up smash like earlier. That's why he did the get up attack. But, you, you know, he was still going to get hit by Bell. Yeah, I think I believe Tommy City he's banning now. Yeah? I think so. He was telling me that that's what he wants to ban uh, before going in. I know Leland like Scala is too. I think also I heard PS2 was banned. When was game one? Game one. What on Smash Bros? I don't remember. FD. All right. Now I heard also. FD. Yeah, Link I heard. Link counter picked FD. Link counter pick FD. I think that uh, since you was telling me that. This is like reverse world for me. I would have thought the complete opposite counter picks. Uh, no, Sinji actually does believe that this is like one of the better stages for Peach in this matchup, at least. Yeah? Well, at the very least, there are a lot of reasons why Peach would want to pick FD. Also, we just saw Fair break the Hydrant in one shot, so I guess fresh Fair breaks Hydrant. Yes, it absolutely does. So I think actually only semi stale Fair will still break Hydrant. Well, we saw last game that he hit a Fair. Maybe he short hopped the Fair, because there he full canceled it. Uh, getting it also might have been damage. like a very stale fair. Right, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure doesn't fair do like 15 percent. Fair? I couldn't tell you that actually. Okay. He oh, jumps. He, he doesn't jump. jump. Oh, he still falls up. That's so good. Yeah, the fact that Peach can like burn her jump, but then still have this really powerful landing mix-up. Her landing is a yeah, it's float. Her landing is so good. Like, like the, the, the option coverage of, like, what you have to do if he floats, if he jumps, or if he neutral air dodges are all so different. <gasps> Is he dead? Two. Nice, man. We'll give him something. He got the winky face. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's a free hydrant kill. That's actually so helpful. Oh, the bait there from nice Ling Ling. Hydrant. Yeah, he's not gonna get into like get up into I, that for free. I can't believe he attacked away the bell. Yeah. He is not letting him pick up bell after he hits his shield anymore. Do you think there's counterplay to that? I think if he gets hit by bell on wow, Derek traded. If he uh, it's what I was saying before. He's been able to attack right through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That if, feels if, risky though because I if, mean, if, if you goes miss, through, you will die. The timing. Also, well, but you don't have to there is not. Dare. Well, no, there is not a constant hip hop. True, but it, it comes out quickly enough that you can't. That like, I, feel I, like I, I, I would I feel doubt. Like there are gaps, maybe. For in, in between the dare hits, a bell could come in. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's possibly. I'm not sure. Disjointed enough on the bottom that I think it might just be a confirmed win. <gasps> oh, big that damage. was so big! big Catching damage. him with the shield drop. That's 42 percent off of one Galaxian combo. Now, I remember the last time these two played, I think in set one of Grand Finals, uh, Sinji was actually up 2-0, and then Ling Ling reversed 3-0'd yeah. him. And then yeah, I think he won the next three, like he just won six games in a row. And so maybe that's actually sort of the reverse of what's going to happen here. Sinji was down 2-0, and this game right here at least is looking pretty good for him. And if he wins this next, this game, I feel like he has a solid chance of taking the next one as well, because whatever adjustments he needed to make, it seems like yeah. they actually Really working out for him now. It's true. And the aggressive, he's staying in his face in a way that we haven't seen so far in this set. The war of attrition is just gone. They are brawling it out. I think if they're brawling, then Sinji wins. Yeah. I think Sinji actually kind of recognizing that. I guess Going for a lot of these forward airs, a yeah. lot of these mutual airs. I'm assuming that that's why he went FD then. Because Ling has a better chance of like, not interacting. Because it's harder to get it on him. So scary. You're looking down. Oh, oh my gosh. He's oh so good. He man. throws Bell and he's like, I dare you to pick this up. I know you can now, so do it. And then he aerials him for it every single time. It's so good. The I'm pressure wondering if, on oh him. Oh my god, he has no shield. Yeah, that's, I remember actually last week, or like the, right after I saw it, 
the um, the set between them. He said how he wants to play more aggressive against Lingling, Ling, and I think that's yeah, that's working out for him right now. Ooh, that dash attack not enough. Do you think that Whoa. when he gets hit by Bell on shield, because Sinji has always followed it up with an area or a dash attack, that he can just add a shield there, like, and try to hit him for it? Possibly, although like when you have a bell in your face, the risk involved of dropping But if you shield big. it, then the hitbox is gone. Uh, yes, but if you mess up, then you could probably re-grab it, you know? And then throw it back at you? Yeah, like for instance, imagine if, you know, your bear whips, he is then in range to grab it up again. And just throws but it it's here. Peach Bear. Like, that's got super, super, no longer. Like, full cancel bear out of shield. That's like, pretty hard to punish with anything. I don't know. It's just... Because he keeps getting caught by this. Oh, yes, it's this. Big stage. Ling's luck tonight has been. Yeah, it's, it's not even the luck. It's just that big hit. Oh, no, that stitch might have actually made the biggest difference. It's, it's <gasps> oh, another hit. He could have caught oh. it again. I don't know why he didn't. Uh oh. Oh, what the heck? He's alive. We recovery. Oh, uh, man. That's also really smiling. tilting when you have been, when he's been playing so well. Yeah, he's playing so he slow and so well, and then he has this big lead that he like, worked so hard for. Then you get hit by Stitch twice, and all of a sudden you're like, I "What?" Think you get hit by Stitch three times. Not twice. That's it. Are you Sucks. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, twice. <laughs> twice. Guys, I think I hit by Stitch twice. That sucks. Yeah.